is it going, fellow YouTubers? My name is Sly, and well, well, we're on freaking ES, so just yeah, hello. So, what I am on here, this is what I would call my crit templar. Originally, I wanted to make a stamina templar, but due to complications of trying to figure it out on my own, I kind of just niched it and uh, yeah, made myself a crit templar instead. So, with my inventory, I have a few different monster sets here and there. But, the main thing is having the Hundig's Rage as well as Giuliano's. Giuliano's is very beneficial due to the fact that it helps with your Templar abilities. Since they are more Magicka based, that does help with your spell crits and max Magicka here. Now, whereas the monster set I am using right now, this is very beneficial if you are a crit user such as myself with my character here. It actually is Ice Heart. What that does actually adds spell crit as well. But when you have the second item you d and deal crit damage, you have that 20% chance to gain the damage shield to protect yourself at the same time, as well as doing a good 780 cold damage around yourself within 5 meters to each add around yourself. So, that is very, very, very beneficial. With my weapons, I do use a destruction staff over a restoration staff. Restoration staff is actually not needed as much for myself when I'm using a Templar. Dual swords are very beneficial as well due to the fact that it helps me get that extra damage in to help benefit with the weapon crits. For the fact that I have two on my back up here, adds that extra 664 weapon crit right there. As well as I do use sharpened with my dual swords that helps with the physical spell penetration until I can get the Nern Home Research, which is on my staff. I will get it one day, but for now, it shall work. And I do use Daedric damage on everything except for when I go against Daedra itself. So in that case, that is when I actually use my Lightning Staff of Hundig's Rage here, which is gold, skin changer style. It goes with the outfit. And what that does, it actually gives me the extra weapon crit going on here kind of thing. Not as much useful, unfortunately, but I do keep the set weapons just in case if I do wish to use my set helmet and shoulders. So in this case, it helps add that 5321 magic damage to Daedra and Undead, which means they melt away very, very easily. So, with this loadout, I do have, as well with this, I have my necklace and rings of willpower. Help with my magic at recovery, gives me some extra stealth, stamina and health. But with this set, adds extra max magicka, but as well as spell damage. With my loadout here for my destruction staff, I have the Radiant Oppression, which is the burn move for the Templars when they get below that 50% health. I also have the Blazing Spears for my AoE, which also causes damage over time, as well as it does stun within that chance there. Has the synergy for my tanks if they need stamina. I have the quick heal, honor the dead, which is your immediate way that heals your lowest person, well, lowest health person in the group, or yourself. I have the blockade of storms, which is another AoE that adds extra crit here as well. It lasts me for 8 seconds, but lastly, I do have the ritual of retribution, which is what I call the large circle in the Templar line. Helps me get that extra AoE damage to help do some extra damage, which also actually heals members of my group. And then with the ultimate move, I am working on Thunderstorm, which is the, uh, believe it is the basic staff move for now until I morph it to the Elemental Rage or Storm, whichever it is. So when I switch my line, we are now going to look at my swords. I have the Blood Thirst, which actually gives extra damage, but as well as it gives me some heals as well if I need. I have Vampire's Bane instead of the Tri Shot, which I might try later, but that adds an extra damage over time onto the characters, especially for it being Flame, so it's good against the Daedra and Undead, but also causes a little bit more damage over time. 
Repentance is good if I have a large group of enemies that just die around me and I need an extra oomph of, you know, health, stamina, magicka. Very, very beneficial. I could use the emergency heal on this line, but as long as it's on one line, I tend to be very good. Fighting jabs is good because it's stamina based instead of being magicka based, so I can spawn it a lot more. Gives me extra damage rather than, uh, Give me a little bit extra heals, less damage. For being a Templar, I already have some heals here and there, don't need it. But then I also use the Dark Flare if I am ranging, which causes the solar energy dealing that extra magic damage. But it also causes Major Defile, so if something's healing them, it reduces their healing effect as well. But for the ultimate on this line, I actually do use the Emergency Heal on this line for now. I am willing to switch it around here and there. This is when I'm in a group. Actually, I'll keep this on here. But, actually, while I'm thinking about it, I can put this on here. Because I'm actually going to show you guys here in a moment how you can kill an area boss by yourself with my loadout. I've tried myself. Now, this is just a reference to each their own. But this tends to work for me, and I can show you here shortly just how amazing it is against an enemy here. So, give me just a moment, and we're gonna teleport magically into an area boss fight. So long as somebody does not interrupt my brawl. 